In addition to very useful tables to view information in different ways, there are also now some very useful reports that you may print and project. For this I'm going to click the Project tab in the ribbon. And what I have is a Reports group and a Reports button. So I'm going to click the Reports button. Reports are broken into five categories. Overview reports, current report, cost reports, assignments reports and workload reports. And you can even create your own custom reports and project. For example, let's have a look at overview. So I'll click the select button. An interesting report might be a project summary report. So I'll double click this option. What I have here is a summary of my project. And I can zoom in if I wish. I can see the baseline start and the actual start, the baseline finish and the fact that I haven't actually finished. I can see the baseline duration and the actual duration and remaining duration and then I'm 42% complete through the entire project. And I have work information, cost information and even task information. I have 23 tasks that are not started yet, 9 that are in progress and 9 that are completed. And I also have 21 resources, of which none are over allocated. So that's a very nice report. Let's look at some of the other reports. I'll go back to the Project tab in the ribbon and back to the Reports button. If I have a look at some of the reports in the Assignments group, I'll double click Assignments. My favourite is To-Do List, so I'll double click To-Do List. What I can then do is click this drop down and choose a particular resource, such as the Manager, and OK. This is a report of what I want the manager to do and when. For example, the week of the 30th of September, I have two tasks I'd like the manager to do, and that's to sort out the side and the costumes. Here's the duration, here's the fixed cost, here's the resource cost and the total cost. And I can see with the use of indicators that task 7 is actually complete. So I can print out a to-do list for that particular resource. Let's have a look at another one. I'll click on Project in the ribbon and go back to the Reports button. A popular cost report, for example, if I double click Costs, is a cash flow report. So I'll double click Cash Flow. This basically tells me what amount of monies I need to have available each week in order to manage my cash flow so I don't run into cash flow difficulties. So there are a variety of reports that you can print in Project and you may wish to have a look at them and see which ones would be useful to you. And they're simply under Project and in the Reports button.